Hi everyone, welcome back to another tarot reading with Soulfold. Okay, happy Halloween. <laughs> I found my tripod, you guys, so now I can actually do a message. All right, so I am going to just pull today a message, all right? I'm not assigning any signs. This is just going to be me pulling a message of love for whoever needs to hear it. This will be a timeless reading and... I'm going to just go ahead and say, if you're new, welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. And I'm glad to see you again after my hiatus. And I hope that you enjoy this reading. If you're new, please sub, like this, you know, all that business, you know, like advertising that, like some kind of robot. Okay. So this is going to be a love message on Halloween night for my collective. Okay. So, I'm already getting a vibe of anxiety, okay? There's some, there's some kind of anxiety coming through that I'm already getting when I connect. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not too sure what this is about, but we will figure it out, okay? All right. Let's go ahead and do our shuffle. Tell me what messages need to come out. What messages need to come out for my collective? What messages need to come out for my collective? Guys, I've been very active on Instagram lately. Um, I'm going to start doing more paintings. So if any of you are actually interested in purchasing a painting, you'll probably be able to see more of that over on IG. Okay? I will not be posting them as much on my YouTube unless it's a process that I'm going through or I just want to share it here. Okay? So you can find my Instagram down below. That's where you'll see some other stuff about my life, okay? Quotes, cards, things like that. I also wanted to let you guys know I'm going to be creating either a book or a course, a very small course to help you to use tarot in your daily life, okay? Just something new I'm trying this year. All right, let's see what messages we have. You. So Ace of Cups in reverse, this could definitely explain the anxiety um, someone feels a loss of love here. Sometimes when a cup spills out, it doesn't necessarily mean something has ended. It just means that something is empty. Yes, I'm getting the feeling here that someone may be feeling empty or feeling lost. Like, um, there's not enough love in their life. There's someone here. Yeah, I'm getting heart pains, okay? I'm getting energetic heart pains. Someone here... And that's watching this, whoever this is connecting to, okay, your main energy is coming up with the Ace of Cups in reverse, which is definitely telling me either you feel like you've missed your chance or someone that is uh, related to your specific reality or storyline that's going on is feeling like, where's the love? <laughs> okay, where's the emotion? There's a lack of emotional, um, ooh. Yeah, I'm really getting this a lot in the heart space. There's a lack of emotional reciprocity in your life. Like you may be a very deeply emotional person or your person may be very deeply emotional and you're feeling like you're not getting enough. You're not getting enough emotional connection. You want more. You may be someone who has a lot of physical things going on in your reality, but not enough emotionally. Yeah, Ten of Swords. There's some kind of pain here, okay? Uh, Ten of Swords in Reverse is like the ultimate. By the way, you guys might see trick-or-treaters going by. Someone is literally look like they're Noah's Ark. Then they're in a wheelchair. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, back to this. Okay. Uh, Ten of Swords in Reverse can also be like, you know, there's there's too much pain. There's not enough healing, okay, around a situation, around love, uh, around emotion. Uh, someone may be hurting because they're hanging on to how they feel about you, okay? But uh, this is a state. Whenever I see the Ten of Swords in reverse, this is a state we're kind of choosing to be in. It's like we can't see the forest from the trees when the Ten of Swords in reverse. It's like 
um, you want to leave it behind, but at the same time, you're struggling to see the end or you're struggling to see a way out of your current predicament. And it's actually not that far off, right? Um, you may feel like the person you're uh, relating to, I'm getting a feeling that this person is actually hurting as well. Okay, tell me more. Queen of Wands in the reverse, fire energy, okay. We have Aries uh, coming through, Leo. Could be any placements. I'm also hearing possible Saggy, but doesn't matter right now. Okay, what matters is the energy. What matters is behind it. What matters is if this message that I'm delivering as the universal postal worker <laughs> is coming through for you. So you guys may be interacting with someone who has a lot of fiery energy in their chart. And something happened that uh, either you came to a conclusion this person was uh, a certain way or you decided that this person was a certain way, maybe full of themselves. Okay. I'm, I'm also hearing that this really hurt. This really hurt somebody. Something really... <laughs> it has to do with communication. Tell me more. Yeah, here it is. Ace of Swords. I thought so. Okay, a communication gone wrong? Someone is hiding how they feel. You or the other person is hiding how they feel, their truth here. Um, there, there may have been an opportunity here to express how you feel to someone or them to you, and it just didn't go right. Something about it didn't go right um, because of this Queen of Wands energy. Okay, someone may have come in really hot. Yeah, I'm hearing that. Someone came in hot or was just like hot headed. Oh my God, you guys, I'm so guilty of this. I I did this recently. I think I did it yesterday. I have a lot of fire going on in my astrological sign. Okay. Sometimes I'm impulsive. All right? <laughs> just like this reading. <laughs> um, so yeah. There's, there's something about communication here and an opportunity that feels lost. Someone can't get out of the pain that they feel about you or you feel about them. And it has to do with the way that both of you communicated. It, there was, I'm hearing like two people got in a fight over something um, that just could have started better. This reminds me of something. <laughs> this reminds me of something in my life. Oh my God. Okay, let's take a look. Tell me more. Oh uh, yeah, Knight of Wands. Someone, someone. <laughs> okay. But I feel like despite what has happened, there is a lot of passion. Someone here has a lot of passion. They want to flirt. Someone wants to come in and flirt and say things, but they're hurting about something that happened. Okay. Um, I get the feeling that um, you or your person here gets depressed very easily. Someone here can get depressed very easily or just be in their emotions for a while if something goes, they have to like disappear and then come back. I get that. I do that sometimes myself. Someone disappeared after something happened and um, then they, they came back or they haven't come back yet. Okay. To kind of express, you know, what they need to express. But yeah, there is a lot of passion here. I'm seeing with the Knight of Wands. Someone still is... <sighs> I really got to get clarity. I'm going to definitely pull with some other cards here about this Ace of Swords because I feel like a communication, a communication that could have gone better didn't go so great. Yeah, two cups in reverse here. So, <laughs> okay, bottom of the deck, we have uh, what's not being seen is, I feel this is your person, all right? The external energy outside of you. Someone is uh, focusing more on the disappointment emotionally of what happened between you and them as opposed to trying to fix it. Okay. They're more focused on how they feel. Meanwhile, okay, you, I feel like if this is resonating with you, this is you over here. You're kind of, you know, you wanting to, to emotionally connect with, with this person or they... Th <laughs> Someone's butt hurt. Okay, <laughs> that's how I'm going to put it. Somebody is really hurt about something more than they should be, perhaps. Could be you, could be them. 
and it has a lot to do with this Queen of Wands energy, okay? I feel like the Nine of Wands came in, you know, wanting to offer something, and the Queen of Wands was like, get out of my face, okay? Oh my god. And this made someone feel rejected, okay? But with this Two of Cups in reverse, you guys are a match, Okay, you guys, I'm feeling a lot of love or maybe unexpressed emotion that happened really quickly, like a like an instantaneous, they were connected to you instantaneously. There was a lot of emotion instantaneously. Um, you may have seen them in public. You may have seen them on social media. You may have seen this person, you know, and I feel like a communication here definitely went wrong. Let's, let's pull on this Ace of Wands. I want to pull on this Ace of Wands and uh, tell me about the Ace of Wands, please. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. I just saw someone dressed like Elmo. The sun. Yeah, you or your person were trying to communicate. I think this was them. I really do. Someone was trying to communicate to you that they were attracted to you or they wanted a fresh start here. Something about you makes them happy. Yeah, someone's wallowing. Someone's wallowing and, and they're sad because the situation maybe didn't play out the way they thought. <laughs> oh God, I, I've, I've had this problem before in my life. So they were hoping for a better communication with you or you were hoping for a better communication with them. Yeah, what do we have? Oh, sorry, this is the two of cups. We have the three of cups in reverse here. Oh, it's been a while since I used this deck, guys. Okay, so this totally gives me a different... Two of Cups in reverse three. It's the same, okay? It's the same. This person... Oh, wow. Your guys' interaction was kind of... Uh, there may have been people around your person that have been influencing the way that they think, okay? Maybe been influencing the way that they talk to you or telling them, giving them, I don't want to say bad advice, but kind of saying, oh, man, just, like, forget it let things go. Just, you know, don't bother with that person, right? If you were the one, I'm hearing this, if you were the one that was hard to approach, okay, um, you may be expected, they may be expected something from you that you just weren't ready or you just didn't know or you just, you know, like someone was standoffish and there might be a reason for that but damn two of cups okay that still came out even though that was three of cups you guys uh if you don't know who this person is they are really feeling right now like they've lost you okay there's like this real negative vibe and i think this has to do with the ace of cups here in reverse this person is emotionally <sighs> cut off Okay, they're emotionally cut off. They don't know that there's not enough emotion in their life so that when the emotion happened, it was like, you know, I'm used to maybe this person is used to things working out in a certain way for them. Yeah, I'm hearing that that maybe this person is used to things going a certain way and it didn't and that shocked them. But it still attracted them. You see what I'm saying? At the, at the center here is the Nine of Wands. I could be talking to someone who has fire in their chart or they're a fire sign. Oh, hold on. My dogs are going crazy. One sec. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> someone was dressed as a dinosaur and there's this huge group of trick-or-treaters. Okay. So, yeah. At the center of the reading, we have the Knight of Wands. So, this tells me that... There is still, okay, there is still attraction here. Someone has to get out of their head. Yeah, Eight of Swords in the reverse. All right. So someone, I feel like this is your person. They have taken a time out. Okay, they've taken a time out and they're trying to get clarity. Bottom of the deck, Two of Wands. There is a future here. There's something here that is yet to grow. There's a door that has been opened. Um, but someone is now a little bit like leery or you're leery of them. You know, however this went in this possible scenario. Um, God, this just reminds me of something so much right now. <laughs> Tarot sometimes with a reader can't, and, I, and this doesn't happen often for me these days, but sometimes situations are so overpowering in my own life that aspects of it can come through a reading. 
this doesn't normally happen to me like it, like it, um, like this anymore, but I feel like some aspects of a specific situation in my life that happened recently. Okay. So what does this person plan on doing? I want to know what this person plans on doing. Can we get a possibility? What does this person plan on doing? I feel like with the Knight of Wands here at the center, they still plan on... Someone is getting more attracted to you. They still plan on... Um, but they got to get over this Two of Cups, like, in reverse situation, which is um, you felt... They felt or you felt like suddenly you just didn't see eye to eye for some reason. But I feel like this is something new with this Ace of Swords and Ace of Cups. This is a situation that hasn't actually got off the ground. Okay. But they're really attracted to you. They're really into you. What? Tell me, tell me, what is this person going to do? I really got to know this. What is this person going to do? Five of Swords in the reverse. Okay. Tell me more. They may still fight themselves a little bit. Okay. I, <laughs> I feel like this person is kind of in a space. They're in a space they did not expect they'd be in because they're normally pretty confident. But I feel like they're kind of fighting themselves or fighting the situation because they don't know how to handle it. Uh, they, they don't know what to do. Okay. They're confused. I think this person's confused. Tell me more. <laughs> you have wands in the reverse. Yeah, they're not, they're not reaching out right now. Okay, they're thinking to themselves, maybe I shouldn't reach out. They're they're holding off communication because they feel I think they're really in their emotions. Hold on. This just fell. Then we have Knight of Cups. Oh sh shit. Okay. Give it time. Give it time. All right. Knight of Cups. Right now, currently, this person is in some sort of tangle within themselves about their emotions. They're very confused about you. They don't understand why they feel this way. Okay, and that's because of the Two of Cups. They are, like, so drawn to you, so interested in you emotionally that they may have formed some opinions about you before they really knew you. Or this is someone you... I feel like you didn't really... It was... It, it was new. Okay. This is a new thing. And something happened here where a perception was formed about you or about them and it kind of messed it up. Okay. But I feel here with the nine of cups, given time, this person will flip. Okay. Their emotions are going to flip back to, um, one of, uh, flirtatious energy. Uh, they need time. You're dealing with someone I feel like has been single for a while. They, someone's out of touch with their emotions. Yeah, strength in reverse. I feel like they've lost some confidence due to this. Something about it. Okay, there's some confidence level or something about them that they're like, should I, shouldn't I, you know, that they don't normally have. You shook this person. Whoever this, <laughs> you shook them to the core, okay? <laughs> they are not sure what to do because you are different. Um... All right. How do they currently feel? I mean, we really know what's going on. How do they currently feel? Tell me about what's going on on a heart level. They want to come for you. They want to rush you. Chariot. Okay. They want to see you. Um, they wish they could see you. They want control over the situation and balance. But at the same time, they want to be able to reach out to you. Someone here is a very confident person, but I feel like what happened with you they did not expect they did not expect and it was a matter of circumstance okay tell me more tell me more about their current feelings what do they want to do what do they want to do okay ten of wands they want to they want to rush towards you this person wants to rush towards you and here with the ten of wands i feel like they want to tell you how much of a burden their own passion and emotions have been for them lately. I feel like this person has been escaping, getting away from themselves, doing something. Yeah, they want to heal. Three of swords in reverse. Their heart's been kind of like in a space here, okay, because they were vulnerable. Someone here was vulnerable and has fallen. I feel like someone has fallen in love here with a match 
but something happened at the start. Okay, it was either you or them that um, affected the way that the connection was supposed to be built upon originally. Okay, and this could be external influences. This could be, you know, third parties. Uh, this could be a situation, um, an experience that happened between you and them or whatever it is. This person is still attracted to you, if not maybe a little bit more because of what happened. I know. I know. It sounds weird. Okay. But it's true. So, well, everything's subjective, right? <laughs> I feel like this person is going to eventually reach out to you again, or you're going to reach out to them and there's going to be another opportunity to communicate. Okay. All right. So I'm going to pull three cards here, three more, and this is going to be, uh, uh, situational energy and advice for you. So we have the blossoming abundance in reverse. Some of you guys may have realized, yeah, one of, uh, oh my goodness. One of you guys may have realized, hold on. Did I, did I just screw up my chances with someone? Like, or they realize that after the fact, someone has been feeling a lack of, I'm definitely feeling a lack of emotion you know, and I feel like this is where you can come in and kind of think, think about what has actually happened or what has transpired between you and this individual, because I think whatever has happened, um, both of you may be in a space where you're wanting more. Okay. In your life, you may be feeling a little less abundant emotionally. You want, you may want a future. You may want something more. And, uh, maybe both of you have been hurt, like are tender or there's something about that here. Emotionally, you're looking for a connection that's abundant. Okay. And I think this person is as well with that two of cups. Whew, boy, it like, I'm hearing this did, this didn't go how I freaking wanted it to. What the hell? Okay. Then we have the world. Yeah. Okay. Advice for you is to move on from the situation in a way where, okay, I'm not going to hang on. I'm just going to be patient and let go. Okay. Let go because here it is. Heart chakra. You have a heart connection to this person. Okay. You feel them. They feel you. You feel each other no matter where you are. And I think that this confuses this person. I don't think they know how to handle it. Okay. I don't think they know how to handle how deep their emotions are for you because they've maybe never experienced a soul connection before or a telepathic connection. They may have never experienced, um, you know, a, they may not even have, I'm hearing, um, they couldn't understand this, uh, the sun. Okay. You're this person's illumination. They, you make them happy and you don't even know it. I'm hearing. Okay. You make them happy. There may be more here than, you know, it was like they saw you and their heart exploded. Okay. And not, no, not like they had a heart attack. Oh God. No, nothing like that. But I feel like what happened is their heart opened. Okay. Their heart is open. They're feeling so deeply in their heart. They can't explain it. They don't know how, um, this may be a match. Okay. This may be a soulmate or someone that, uh, really deeply you guys connect, but you just didn't something about it just didn't start off on the right foot. Okay. So there's always chances. There's always tomorrow. Tomorrow's a new opportunity. Let's go ahead and get you guys some love cards here. This is the lover's um, oracle. It's shaped like a heart, so it's very hard to shuffle. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know when to hold on. Know when to walk away. Okay, let's see what we have. I love Halloween. I don't know about you guys. Okay, we have... Beware of what you're projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Yeah, this is a deep connection. Okay, something happened where you both mirrored each other or the situation and you both just kind of boom. It was like a boom. Okay, big boom, big bada boom, right? Like what's your face from uh, Fifth Element says? Lilu? Big boom, big bada boom. So 
that's why it kind of went the way it did. And I feel like your person here has taken it a little bit more personally and thought they suck. Okay. Or there's something about them or there's, you know, they took it, they've taken it emotionally to a whole new level. And for you, it's kind of like you're feeling this as well. I think you're feeling this connection um, deeply and there's some mirroring going on between you both. Okay. They don't know that. I feel like this person doesn't know what mirroring is. Uh, transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Yeah, the situation's about to change. Okay, and I feel like your person is also going through a transformation internally, like in their heart. They could be having a heart awakening or they could be realizing uh, the depths of what real love actually feels like. Um, this is a, this is a real interesting connection here we have. Um, life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. So go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. Yeah. Neither one of you can, yeah, we've got passion underneath here. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. So they're very attracted to you and they don't know why. There's a natural magnetic attraction between you and this person. Whew. Somebody wants you here with the passion. Nine of Wands, I'm sorry, but you're screwed. They want you and there's nothing you can do about it. Wow. Anyway, that's, that's, that's all I'm pulling. I hope you guys have a great Halloween. And um, this has been your love message of the day from Soulful. And I hope to see you guys again soon. And uh, enjoy your candies, your spooks. Um, spooks, wait, we don't want spooks. That's, that sounds like some sort of government thing. Um, or people.